going to make an UP inspired airship for my Lamely doll. You'll need recycled boxes, construction paper, paint, yarn or string, a roll of fishing line, glue, and your Lamely doll. First, select a box that is slightly taller than your doll. Carefully take the box apart at the bottom and side seams. Lay it flat. Draw a line to create a section that is just wider than your doll. This will be the back of your house. Measure the width of your first side section and create a second side section that is exactly the same width. Measure the width of your back section and create a second section that is the same size. So now you have a side, a back, a second side, and a front. Lay your doll on the back section and sketch a line at her shoulders across both sides and the back. Now place your doll on the front section and sketch a line at her hips. Draw a small tab off the side of the front section. Now cut up, across, and up so that your box looks like this. From the top, cut down your side seams just to the shoulder line. Bend your side sections at the shoulder line. Now bend on all of the lines you've drawn. Draw a point on the back section and connect it with the shoulder line. Cut to create your roof peak. Line up your sides with the roof peak and trim any extra cardboard. Paint the sections that will be your ceiling off white. Paint your walls yellow. Use a rolled up paper towel and off white paint to create highlights. Use white construction paper to create trim. Cut pieces of white and black construction paper to create a fireplace. Cut a rectangle from one of your boxes, paint it, to create the Paradise Falls painting. Apply hot glue to the tab, fold it over, and attach it to the outside of your first side wall. Snip where necessary and glue your bottom pieces together. Holding the two side sections of the roof together, poke a hole all the way through both. Glue the edges of the two roof sides together. Then glue them to the back section, forming the peak. Feed your string through the holes, leave some length, and tie in a tight knot. To make the chimney, cut a rectangle from one of your boxes that is four and a half inches by two inches, marking lines at one inch, two inches, three inches, and four inches. Bend on all lines. Hold one of the one inch sections up to the peak of your roof and trace the angle. Cut it out and use it to trace the angle on the opposite section. Cut, apply glue to the half inch section of your chimney and fold. Use paint to create a brick pattern. Slide your string up through your chimney and glue in place. Trace and cut a piece of construction paper to fit on the bottom of your house. Poke two holes in the bottom, we'll use those later. Cut construction paper to create fancy trim and siding for the outside of your house. Apply glue and add details to the front, side, other side, and back of your house, trimming off the excess once the glue is dry. Add trim to clean up your edges. Cut brown construction paper to create a pattern for the roof. Use a folded piece of brown paper for the peak. Feed your fishing line up through and out of the holes on the bottom of your house and tie in a tight knot. Lamely's ready to go on a flying adventure. Once you are outside, use a heavy object like a weight on your fishing line to keep your house from floating away. I got my balloons from my local grocery store's floral department. This was the most convenient and cost-effective option for me. My research showed that one helium balloon can lift about 10 grams. 
Lamely and her house ended up weighing over 300 grams. I tried 30 balloons, but it didn't quite do the trick. In the end, I needed four dozen balloons 